Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as promo. Today is June 7th and Samsung just launched today the sign up and download of the One UI 5 Watch Beta program. It's not only just available for the Watch 5 devices, but you can also take a look at it for the Galaxy Watch 4 devices. So if you have the Watch 4 or the Watch 4 Classic, you wanna tap on this banner, read through everything, get the download from that banner. This one right here is the one I'll click on for the Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. Now this is just giving you all the details about how to participate, how to download, what to expect, um, also how to withdraw. Now, if you don't know where all of this stuff is, is this is just the regular Samsung members application. So all you wanna do is make sure that you have the latest version of Samsung members. You just have to go inside of the Galaxy store, search for it, make sure you have the latest version, get it installed if you don't have it installed. Now, once you open up Samsung members, you wanna go through the banners on the very top and then tap the banner corresponding with the watch that you have. So again, I, su I suggest if you're brand new, read through all of this just so you kind of know what to expect. I've done several of these paid up programs for the watches and the phones. Uh, so as you scroll down, you're gonna see the join now button. And then right here, you're gonna have the Watch 5 manager download as well as the Samsung health downloads. So you wanna make sure that those two plugins are at the latest version so you can run on, on this uh, beta program. And you also have the beta community connection. So it's a way that you're able to log in with your Samsung account. You're part of everybody who is also a part of this, this beta program as well. So all I gotta do now is hit on this join now. Uh, this is just letting you know, due to beta version being unstable, there is a risk of data loss and unexpected software errors. So you just wanna make sure that you back up and, and do uh, regularly backups when you are using your watch. When you encounter an error during the beta, please use error report option in the Galaxy wearable application to say okay. Uh, submit all problems and usability of beta version in suggestion section in the beta community. Uh, should you encounter a problem that prevents you from using your watch, please visit a Samsung service center. Make sure that your watch plugin is at the latest version. You just say yes. Uh, make sure that the update all applications, just say yes. So basically you just wanna make sure everything is you know, at the latest version. So now I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna hit on submit. It says, thank you for participating. So now that you hit on the join now button, your next step that you wanna do is head inside of your Galaxy wearable application. Then you wanna go down to your watch settings and then with inside of the watch settings, you wanna to go to watch software update. And then here you wanna to go to download and install. Now mine had that little orange dot because I did that right before I showed you this step. I just wanted to make sure it was there before I started you know, and kept on recording. So here we are, we are now downloading this update. This will give us the One UI watch or the One UI 5 watch upgrade. And so we're gonna go through and read all of these as well. We'll take a look at what is brand new. The size of this is 1,713 megabytes. So as this is downloading, we might as well skim through to see what is new with the uh, One UI 5 watch upgrade. So watch faces and tiles, add watch faces and tiles more easily. A new vertical layout makes it easier to find the watch faces and tiles that are right for you. Uh, improved bud controller tile. You can now turn 360 audio on and off from the buds controller tile if your buds support 360 audio. Quick access to timers. Uh, you can start timers from the new timer tile without opening the timer app. You can set an album or story as your watch face. Instead of just one picture, you can now make your watch face uh, cycle between pictures in, your, in an album or story that you select. Your watch face will change to a different picture each time you turn on the watch screen. Samsung Health, automatically record cycling workouts. Uh, Samsung Health can now detect when you start cycling and record your workout automatically. You can also set weather to automatically map your cycling uh, routes. Uh, here we go, we're gonna down or scroll down just a little bit more here. Get heart rate guidance during running workouts. Your watch can provide personalized heart rate zones while you run to help you manage your exercise intense, intensity. Backup and restore, keep your watch data safe. Files and data from your watch are periodically backed up to your phone when it's connected to your watch. You can also save backups to Samsung Cloud. Your phone needs the latest version of the Samsung uh, or the, the Smart Switch app to use this feature. Control your phone, more call controls. You now have more control over calls without touching your phone. You can adjust the call volume, mute sound, and press buttons on the keypad all from your watch. Additional changes, dictate text, with the home button. Just press and hold the home button anytime you're entering text with Samsung keyboard to instantly switch to voice input, which is pretty nice. Use multiple timers at once. You can now have up to 20 timers running at the same time to help you keep track of all your tasks. Share your medical info in an emergency. A button 
to access your medical info will appear automatically when a hard fall is detected or when you press the home button five times to start the emergency SOS feature. For device care, you can check the, the status of your watch's battery, storage, and memory and immediately fix any problems to extend battery life and keep your watch running smoothly. You can control your watch without touching it. Universal gestures let you control your watch without touching the screen or pressing a button. You can assign various actions to gestures such as shaking your wrist, making a fist, or punching or pinching your fingers, uh, organized apps and folders. You can create folders to keep your apps organized so you can find the apps you need quickly and less scrolling. And it just says some apps need to be updated separately after the watch is upgraded, which is obvious because if there's a whole new UI, you might need to update all of those applications. So this was just a run through, a read through of everything new. And then a little bit later on, I'll create another video kind of talking about and showing these things off a little bit more. Mostly what I wanted to do here was to let you know about this update, how you can sign up, because sometimes they kind of fill up pretty quickly. And so I want to make sure that I get this video out as fast as I can. Uh, so right now, this is just copying the update to the watch. And then after that, it'll be able to install. So again, it is fairly large, 1,713 megabytes. So it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now that the download of the update was done on the phone, I went over to the watch side, I hit on the install button, and then you can see that they are now pretty much kind of uh, disconnected, everything already copied over, and right now it is installing that brand new update. So as this update is finishing over here, I went back inside of the Samsung members application. I went back to my watch five banner and basically now what I want to do is make sure that I have the latest versions of all of these different, you know, watch managers, the Samsung health, as well as the beta community. So now that this one is now officially downloaded, I am a part of the beta program. I'm going to hit on the watch five manager download. Now this is where I'm going to go to participate. And now it looks like right here we have the closed beta one. This is the watch five wear beta. So now I'm just going to update. So I have the latest version. Uh, and again, uh, you know, you might want to do this as soon as possible. So this way the watch can fully, you know, be connected and have all of the latest features and not have really any issues. So here we go. We're going to have this one be the latest version. Now that we have this one installed, I'm just going to hit back a couple times. And I want to make sure that I have the latest version of Samsung Health. Uh, so, you know, if there's brand new features, which they said that there is when it comes down to the health side of things, you want to make sure you have the latest version of this. So now we're going to go hit on update. And now that this one is at its latest update, now we're going to head right back inside the application. We're going to go to beta community connection. So in this way, we'd be able to, you know, let's see here, join the community, sign in. So this is going to be the One UI beta program for Watch 4, Watch 4 Classic, Watch 5, and Watch 5 Pro. So join the community, sign in. Now, once you're logged in, you'd be able to scroll through. You can browse a few things, some tips, some discussions, suggestions. You also see some community activity down below. So now that we are logged in and we've got everything pretty much up to date on every single thing, here our watch says the watch is updated. So the update is done and complete. There's a lot of cool things you could take a look at. So actually, once this one was, was updated, I got this little tips notification letting me know what I'm able to do. Over here, you can see that we are running on Let's see here, go all the way down to the software information. We're running on the One UI version 5.0 watch. As you scroll on down, you know, you can see the system version is 13, Wear OS version is 4.0, and then with the June 1st security patch. Now over here, this is just showing you a few things that is new. Uh, Universal needs to observe your actions, receive notifications when you're inter interacting with an application. Okay, so here we go. So use gestures to control your watch. So I can learn how to use universal gestures. So I might as well just start this. To activate universal gestures, rotate your wrist from side to side twice. Let's see, let's try that out then. Okay, tap your index finger and thumb together. All right, looks like I got it. <laughs> uh, to move to the next item, tap your index finger and thumb together. Let's see, so there we go. Uh, there we go, there we go. So that's pretty cool, all right, great, great. <laughs> tap your index finger and thumb together twice, one, two. All right, looks like I got it there. Let's see here, to move to the previous item, tap your index finger and thumb twice together. All right, so I tap both of them twice together. It looks like they went up. Great. All right. Close your hand into a fist. Okay. 
<laughs> to select an item, close your hand into a fist. This looks like I can select right there. Nope, oh, wasn't there. There we go. So you close your hand into a fist twice. I think I released two. There we go. Okay. Make sure you watch the animation. <laughs> See, to open the action menu, close your hand into a fist twice. Dang, okay. Now you can pinch and double pinch here. So let's see here, double pinch. Ooh, that made me go backwards. Now going through a few things that they mentioned that was brand new, we'll take a look at the watch, then we'll take a look at the, the application. So over here, if you press and hold on a watch face, and then you swipe all the way over to the new watch option, they now have everything all listed, you know, two by two by two, and it's all vertical. So you don't have to go left and right and only see one at a time. Uh, so now you can see multiple. So this one's categorized as graphical. So you can take a look, you know, anything that's graphical, you have informative watches or watch faces. And these are the ones that I usually like to use. You have health, classic, simple, and then you have a bunch of the other options on the very bottom. So these are some that are downloaded. Now, another thing I've also mentioned, or another thing I also recognized is that as you swipe on through, you can see a few new watch faces or tiles as well. So here's the route. So hike, bike, run, or walk along a route. Uh, there's your body composition, scrolling over here, sleep, wear your watch at night to track your sleep. I believe these tiles are new. I don't think I remember any of them really kind of moving like that. And then you can add in more tiles. And again, these tiles are going to be, you know, in that vertical list as well. And it's all going to be categorized. So it's pretty much the same over here. So if you go into tiles, it's going to pretty much look the same as well. But it can show a few more than just two at a time. You can see all of these ones sitting right there. Uh, so now we're going to head over into the watch settings. And one of those settings that they showed off at the, or that I showed off at the beginning was it was underneath accessibility where you're able to do universal movement. So when you go inside of accessibility, then you go to interaction and dexterity. This is where you have those universal gestures and you can have it on or off and then you can go through all of the different settings. So how you can activate it, you can do it by shake. You can do it by auto activate. If the screen was on nod gesture, knock, knock gesture, you have auto scan. Here's the indicator color. So what color do you want it to be when it's kind of focused in on, you know, your taps and your, your movements and your fists that you're making, you have a green, yellow, orange, red, blue, gray, all that. So that's inside of the, uh, uh, interaction and de dexterity inside of the accessibility options. Now, another area that was changed and updated was inside of general. And then with general, you have transfer watch to new phone. Uh, so I believe that was something that they have also mentioned. You can manage content so you can bring images to your watch. You can bring music to your watch, which you were able to do from before as well. Uh, let's see here. When you go to accounts and backups, you can save backup on Samsung account. So this is also mentioning right here that you're connected to Wi-Fi, your phone battery is at least 30% and the screen is off. Um, so it's a way to keep your backups safe and available by moving them to Samsung account storage. Backups stored on your phone will be saved to the Samsung account storage when the last save was over 24 hours ago. Uh, so yeah, so you're, you'll be able to turn this one on right there. And then inside of notifications, you can go inside of advanced notification settings. This is where you go to read notifications aloud. You can either have it off read briefly or read in detail. And then down inside of health, you have, uh, you know, the measurements. So you can either do it manually every 10 minutes, measure continuously. So I just have it as manual only for me for heart rate and stress. Snore detection, you can turn this thing on. Skin temperature during sleep. Predict period with skin temp. So this is also something that's brand new. I remember I made a video in the past and I thought it was dealing with cycling, uh, but it was the female cycle. That was very embarrassing, but here you go. It's underneath here. Uh, it's part of kind of lab. So predict period with skin temps, auto detect workouts. So you can go through here and you can have whatever ones you want to auto detect, but that's pretty much it for right now. That was a quick overview of some of the things that they mentioned that were brand new, but again, stay tuned for hopefully some future videos of me going through maybe the top features that's brand new with this update, but hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.